First, I offer Pechetta. Now. Slay for the Sky Dragon! What's going on guys? Logan JYA here and you made it to another Drytron video. This time I've got a real treat for you. What do you get when you combine the main protagonist of Yu-Gi-Oh, the greatest duelist in the history of Duel Monsters, Yugi Moto, and the power of the Dry Kage? I'll tell you what you get. You get the most unique Drytron deck profile you're ever going to see in the history of the universe, as well as starting things off with this insane combo tutorial. That's right, we are summoning Slifer, the Sky Dragon, in Drytrons with the help of a brand new card that just came out in the 2022 Megaton. So you guys are definitely going to want to check this out. I'm going to preface this by saying I have to say this. This is not a super competitive combo, all right, guys? It's got some restrictions on it, but it is absolutely goofy, and I think you guys are going to have a lot of fun with it if you choose to give it a try. But I don't want to preface this too much. Let's get into this combo tutorial followed by a quick deck profile at the end. I hope you guys like what you see. Smash the like button. If you want to see us play stuff like this live, go check out the stream. Link in the description down below. And that's all I got. Let's get into it. All right, my friends, as promised, I got an insane gimmick Drytron combo for you guys. I know this is a little off keyster, you know, it's not the most competitive thing, but I thought it was too crazy not to show. And if you guys saw on our stream, as soon as I read this card, I was like, dude, we are going to do a Drytron combo with it. So this is me fulfilling that promise. And how we're going to do it is with two simple cards, our friends, Nova and Zeta. You know, we're going to make it as easy as possible. We could also do this in theory with three name hand. It's the same deal as the FTK. Now, I know what you're going to say, and before you comment it, you know, why would I ever do this combo when I could just FTK my opponent? Very fair point. But in FTK, do you summon Slife of the Sky Dragon? I didn't think so. So that's why we're doing this. We're just doing it for sheer memes and memes alone to let folks know that we've got the power of Yugi on our side when we play Drytrons in this particular way. But without further ado, I'm going to show you guys how to do the combo. We'll have a super quick deck list at the end to kind of show you guys the run of the mill if you want to play this meme build and absolutely be a complete savage at your locals. Let me show you how to do it. Without further ado, let's hop into this. All right, folks, to start things off, you already know how we do. We're going to keep this as quick as possible for the basic parts, but I'll explain when we need to. Nova is going to summon Alpha from deck. Pretty simple stuff here. We link one into Link Karibo. Again, this is going to look very similar to the Amor Factor Pain FTK. We're going to go Alpha Effect, tributing the Zeta from hand, summoning itself, and searching out Ben 10. And the Zeta's effect in the grave is going to tribute off that Ben 10 like so and search off our Medionis. Ben 10's effect will then add Diviner the Herald. Yo, I got to say, the new ones look fresh. Listen, I'm still a fan of the OGs, but I, I want to break out one of the new ones to show you guys in this profile. Next, we're going to overlay our guys here. Summon Moy Beta. Can't beat the extended art. Shout out to my girl Brio. Chaos Paint and Games. Moy Beta is going to send Gamma from deck to grave. Absolutely, like so. Then we normal summon our Diviner over here. It doesn't really matter where we put it, but I'll explain why the zoning on the Beatrice will matter. We'll send the Herald, and Herald Effect will then search, grabbing us another copy of Ben 10 from deck to hand. Now we can go for Medionis for the first time, detach off Moy Beta and we're going to summon back that first Ben 10 we used earlier. I'm going to throw it into this zone right here. It's important that we keep it around that Link Karibo, like so, because we're going to overlay it with our Diviner to summon our Beatrice. Boom. Now we use Beatrice's effect when it's on the field. Detach one to send from deck to grave. This is where we're going to send our first card, which is the brand new goodness, the Revival of the Sky God. I think that's what it's called, the Revived Sky God. Look at that. This is brand new out of the new Megatons, guys. Now, again, a meme build, but a fun one nonetheless. So we're going to send that to grave off of the Beatrice like so. And then from here, we can use the effect of Gamma in our graveyard since we have a target for it. We'll sack off that Ben 10, special summon it and bring back whatever we detached off Moy Beta. And then we can trigger our Ben 10 to get a free search. Here we'll grab Ida 10. And we'll use the effect of Medionis in the graveyard, reducing the attack of the Gamma to add it back to hand. For our next step, we'll use Medionis, detach off Moy Beta, summon that Ida 10. Ida 10 effect will add back Medionis. Now we're only really doing this for the important fact of this is going to be our discard fodder here. We could theoretically summon the Ben 10 and use any of the other cards in our hand and make this a free Ben 10 search. But I'm just putting it out there that this is kind of what it's going to look like when you're going through your play. The whole point is we're keeping this Beatrice on the field while we're doing this play. So hopefully that makes sense. Let's, uh, let's link these guys off now. So we'll take these three. 
or four, excuse me, take those four, turn them into the Nightmare Griffin. Griffin effect will pitch that Medionis. Bring back that revived Sky God to the back row, like so. And now we are pretty much set up, ready to rock and roll and go. We do get a free draw off that Griffin, so that'll be locked and loaded in the hand. And don't forget, we will still have other cards in our hand. You want to set as many of them as you can. Set as many as you can, because we are going to be drawing cards off of this, the revived Sky God, and I'm going to show you how it works just here in a moment. So we pass turn to the opponent, right? In their draw phase, we're going to want to go for that Beatrice effect, detach that Ben 10, and then we're going to send the mighty Slifer the Sky Dragon from deck to grave, like so. Send that to the graveyard. Now here's the deal, and this is why the combo really kind of sucks, all right? I got to be transparent with you. When I first read the card, didn't know about this, but we had to go check with the judges. The judges do decree that to use this card, your opponent cannot have six cards in their hand. So we can't do it in the draw phase, but what we can do is in their main phase, as soon as they put a card on the field, we activate that Revive Sky God, like so, right? We bring back that Slife for the Sky Dragon from the graveyard, and then we proceed to draw until we have six cards in our hand. Now, the opponent gets to do the same, but this is absolutely diabolical, because think about it. You are going to have an insane amount of card advantage from resolving this. Not only that, but you have Slifer the Sky Dragon on your board in Drytron, no joke, and it has a cool little floodgate effect where it's going to be blowing up those monsters if they've got 2,000 or less attack points, because it's going to set that attack points down and then blow them up if they're too small. We also have the floodgate effect of Nightmare Griffin, locking out the effects of special summon monsters. That's why our zone placement was kind of important here and then we're gonna have plenty of cards on follow-up to absolutely obliterate the opponent I'm gonna go through the deck list super quick guys but again this is just like the Amor Factor Pain FTK build so if you guys have seen that one you might be familiar with it but I want to show you guys this combo because we can summon Slifer in Drytron, something that I never thought I'd be saying in 2022. Well, check it out. This is how you do it. If you guys learned something new or enjoyed this combo or just wanted to see something crazy, hopefully I was able to fulfill that for you and smash that like button. Let's get into this quick de deck list and then we'll uh, bring this to a close. Let's do it. All right, my friends, as promised, I'm going to do a quick deck profile. I'm going to show you guys the list for the Slifer, the Sky Dragon, Drytrons. Again, this is just very similar to the Amor Factor FTK build, but we're playing a different engine that's a bit more fun. So if your friends are tired of you FTKing them with Drytron, give this build a try and give them a fighting chance and actually summon one of the three legendary Egyptian God cards. It's something absolutely insane that I never thought would be possible until we got one of these new cards out of the brand new 2022 Megatons. Now, this isn't a shameless code Konami plug. Unless they want to sponsor me, you guys have my number, hit my line. Anyway, what I'm saying is I'm going to show you guys this list super duper quick, but a lot of it is relatively standard for a build that is a bit more competitive, but this is a gimmick that you can do like no other. So again, guys, if you like what you see, smash that like button. And if you want to see us play shenanigan builds like this, come join our stream. Link in the description down below. Without further ado, let's get into this profile. All right, guys, I'm going to go through this stuff really quickly. These are the bricks you need to play. You need to play one Slife of the Sky Dragon, one of the Revive, Sky God, and you don't need to play this, but I put in the one monster reborn because it's a 40 card list anyway, and I was like, you know what? Forget about it. Let's just throw it in there. Let's have the full combo. So after the slice of the Sky Dragon on your opponent's turn ends up dying by its own effect, you can use the Revive Sky God to stack the monster reborn, instantly draw it, and then summon it back to kill your opponent with it. It's just a cheeky thing. It all goes into the play. You guys already saw how to do this combo, but this is the package that you need to play for the entirety of the combo if you want it to be complete. And then for the Drytron cards, this is so simple, guys. We're going to go through it, like, really quick. Triple Alpha, Triple Zeta, Triple Gamma, and Triple Delta. Doing three of all the good names, just because this is a maximized consistency build to get off our one gimmick. You do the same thing in the Amor Factor build. We're also doing two copies of Diviner. Look at this, guys. I've got one of the new ones, our squarish hollow, and then our OG here with the, the good old slanted, I guess you could say. But, yeah, you play two Diviner. No... Surprises there and the one orange light. I still play it's technically a brick So there are a fair amount of bricks in this build But again, it is a gimmick deck guys But you want if you want to make yourself safe from hand traps or have a follow-up hand trap to either draw into or search off of your combo You have the ability to do so it also helps protect you from hand traps So we got two copies of Ben 10 for the rituals one Ida 10 and one Natasha, that's Maximize Cyber Angel. Not only is this a good backup plan, of course, when you're going second, line up those games, but you need some of these for your combo to get into the Slide for the Sky Dragon play. Our other rituals that we're playing is the one Amor Factor Pain and the one Draco Nids. So the Amor Factor is another backup plan, I guess you could say. You could also just go for this strategy. Say your opponent's really 
uh, irritating you, they're p pissing you off, and you're like, you know what, forget about this, I'm gonna FTK you instead. We got the Amor Factor, and we've got the Thunder of Ruler in the side deck, no joke. And then we've also got the Draco Nids for cleaning up games, playing through Scythe, things of that nature. So we stay ready. We stay ready. Even though this is a gimmick build, we stay ready. Spell cards, two Nova, two Fafnir, one Medionis. You could do triple Nova too, because that is one of the uh, main cards in the two card combo. But uh, just keep the two field spells in there, because it makes it easier to access the, um, the, the Floodgate effect of the field spell. Also playing triple copies of Cyber Emergency, two copies of Triple Tact, and triple copies of Forbidden Droplets. Uh, you know, going second card slash going first cards and with the talents and droplets the hard going second card. We can also set it if you have to go first. We also got the Harpy's Feather Duster, the Foolish Burial, and the Call by the Grave, bringing that deck to a close at a clean 40. Now we'll do the extra deck real quick here. I've got the two copies of Moy Beta Fafnir, of course. The new square one looks all right, you know what I mean? I like the hollow from the new Megatim one. It looks pretty good, but nothing's gonna beat that extended art for my girl Brio, absolutely legendary. Then we got the one Beatrice, essential for the combo. I'm playing one Lyrilisk Assembled Nightingale to go with our Zeus package, which is Downward and Zeus. The cool thing about this build is that you do have a fair amount of room in the extra deck to toolbox, which is gonna be good, because sometimes I wanna use it as a backup plan. And it's also good in the Amor Factor after K build, because if you have to go second, you've got your extra deck to rely on as a resource. Moving on from there, we've got the Diviner targets with the Herald and the Entis. Those are mandatory. We've got the Link Monsters. Link Karibo is mandatory in this build because you need its arrow. Also playing an IP Mascarina, a Nightmare Phoenix, a Nightmare Griffin, mandatory for the combo. One Boral Sword to go for game, one Apollosa as a backup plan slash further interruption, and then of course, Homie Underworld Goddess to lock out those games, snag those monsters, make going for game super easy, and clear those towers is out of the game. That's it for the extra deck. I'm gonna wrap things up with the side deck super duper quick for you guys. Pretty standard as far as my builds go. Triple Lava Golem, baby, the GOAT. The GOAT when it comes to clearing them boards. Uh, I'm playing the one Evil Twins to go with our Triple Ultimate Slayer. Absolutely legendary card. I want to flag for you guys that this card is so insane. It's not even once per turn, so if you can get your hands on it, absolutely do play it. Triple Cops Dark Ruler no more for when you're going second against those build -a board decks. Playing one Red Reboot, two Cosmic Cyclones. You can make these twins. Either one works. And I told you earlier, we're playing the one Thunder of Ruler in the side, so in case your opponent's pissing you off, you bring the Thunder of Ruler and FTK them instead of summoning Slifer and be like, ha, I'm not playing anymore. There you go. <laughs> so it's kind of a, a, just a way to be a cheeky bastard. And the last card in the extra deck is our Evil Twin that goes with the Ultimate Slayers. Bring it to an even 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 card side deck. So we're pretty much all set there. That is it for this list, guys. Give it a try if you want to have some fun. It's absolutely legendary. I will say I did play the FTK build at Locals yesterday and it end up in the top. It's a really, really insane build when it works that way, but if you want to cool it down, be a little bit of a less sweaty Yu-Gi-Oh player and have some fun and summon Slife of the Sky Dragon, give this list a try. That's all I got today, guys. Logan JY signing off. Have a great day. I will see you chumps later. Peace. <laughs>